afternoon. Today is Friday, March 10th, 2017. It is a day three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Alexis B. and Gage T. Happy, happy, birthday. Birthday. Happy, birthday. happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you. Hey, Anderton, we are here to announce some great news. We are so excited to tell you that Anderton staff and students donated $1,742 for the powerful Paige Kasuti. Wow! Another great example of how generous and kind our Anderton community is. Thanks for your support, Anderton. Today is hot dog day. Please send your hot dog orders down to Mrs. Jones in the kitchen by the end of first period. Miss Green Duran and Mrs. Blanco would like to wish everyone a safe but fun-filled March break. We hope that you are able to enjoy many of the activities that help you to recharge your batteries and become re-energized. When you return in a week, be prepared for some personal spring growth by setting yourself a few new learning goals. As the week marking International Women's Day in Canada's 150th year of Confederation draws to a close, it seems appropriate to reflect on the achievements of a few more noteworthy Canadian women. On March 8, 2011, as we celebrated the 100th anniversary of International Women's Day, Jennifer Hunter published an editorial opinion in the Toronto Star entitled, Ten Women Who Made a Difference. Two women she recognized in her column were Roberta Bondar, a Canadian astronaut, and Rosemary Brown, the first black woman to become a member of the Legislative Assembly, that is a provincial legislator, in British Columbia. Miss Bondar holds university degrees in zoology, pathology, and neuroscience. She was the first Canadian woman to be invited by NASA to be on the Discovery Team in January of 1992. She provides an example to all women of just how far the sciences can take you. Rosemary Brown was born in Jamaica and moved to Canada to study at McGill University, intending to become a social worker. She was elected to the provincial legislature of BC in 1972. During her life, she worked to increase the number of women serving as directors or of corporations and in political roles. She also fought to reduce discrimination based on gender or martial status and to eliminate sexism in school textbooks. Congratulations to our senior girls basketball team for their excellent showing at the district championship meet on Wednesday night. The Mustang Senior Girls brought home the bronze medal as a reward for their drive and perseverance throughout the tournament. A big shout out and thank you to their coaches, Mrs. LaMarche and Mr. Suchu, for the time and dedication they commit to working with their young athletes. We appreciate all you do to develop the talents of your players. Way to go, Mustangs! School Badminton Team. If you're a girl or boy in grades 5, 6, 7, or 8 interested in trying out for the School Badminton Team but haven't signed up, please see Mr. Milks for more details. Gaines will be hosting a Rock Your Socks for Down Syndrome Awareness contest on Tuesday, March 21st. A $2 donation enters you into the contest for craziest socks. So get out your fancy socks and footwear and let's support this great cause. Thank you from the Gaines classroom.